Hello everyone, Pete Brooker here from Taylor's with Love. No Matt Spacer on this one, although I should say Matt Spacer has had a huge influence on this particular vlog because today I'm going to talk about my very first bespoke shirt that I had made by Frank Foster. And it was through Matt's blog and his tireless rhapsodizing of Frank Foster, the brand, that has led me to this moment. So thank you, Matt. Frank Foster made shirts for the first free Bond actors, um, as well as for Roger Moore in his personal life. And through Frank Foster, the first order only is six shirt minimum as they invest a lot of time in the pattern making and the first fittings. The six shirts, however, can all be different, i.e. cuff styles, collar shape, short sleeve, etc. And once they have the pattern done, clients can then order in any quantity they like. So I went in for a measurement, then in for a fitting, and this was what came back. Now, I went back into Frank Foster subsequently and we had it nipped in and they were very sweet. Poor Sam spent an entire day unpicking the shirt to make those necessary tweaks. And can you believe after all that, she and Mary, who has been there since the beginning, still had the good grace to send me a Christmas card. That is a thing of beauty. Now, here it is. Okay, honest first impressions, it it fell so good around the waist. <laughs> <laughs> and as I model this shirt with a couple of different outfits here, I'm going to give you some details of the shirt. The fabric for this striped shirt is cotton poplin, made by a company called David and John Anderson. Frank would buy the materials directly from the mill in Glasgow, Scotland. And in my correspondence with Sam, who is Frank's daughter, would have many, she told me she had many invoices from the mill starting in the 1960s through to the late 70s. So we're confident we can date the fabric from, from around about then. Although the label of the mill is on the fabric, the invoices only have numbers, so it's hard to match them precisely. The cuffs are the Frank Foster design of cocktail cuffs. Frank preferred this one. It is slightly different to the earlier cocktail cuff they used in the Persuaders and Live and Let Die. The collar shape. Now, the collar. This was chosen to best suit my face shape and neck dimensions. And the buttons, they are all four hole mother of pearl natural shell. So again, no cutting corners on this. Nothing but the best for the captain's table. And that's it really. So just a quick update. Obviously we're all on lockdown at the moment. So Frank Foster's is at the time I'm recording this not open um, at their place in Pall Mall. But what I want you to do is start going through their Instagram page at Frank Foster shirts. So Frank underscore Foster underscore shirts. And you'll find all sorts of different shirts, designs, fabrics. And why don't you make a top five or a wish list and start mapping out a wardrobe in your mind for when we're all let out of our cages here. And if you're a fan of the Bond films in particular, maybe pay closer inspection to the shirts in some of the scenes from the films. Or head over to Matt Spacer's blog and take a look at some of the descriptions of some of the shirts. And email frankfostershirts at gmail.com and ask them, hey, can I talk shirts? <laughs> um, they'll love that. So you might like the, the Christopher Walken one, for example, that he's wearing in Chateau Chantilly or the one Roger wears in The River Chase and Limelet Die. You know I do. And you never know, they might even have the same fabric that was used in the film. So, okay, that's it from me. Many thanks to Sam and Mary for indulging me with this and for putting up with me. And uh, until next time, buenas for tornas. And through Frank... <laughs> and through Frank Foster. And through Frank Foster. And through Frank Foster. 